Hello everybody, welcome back to Channels of Machinery. Raising thousands of dairy cows on a modern farm is a blend of technology and humane care, designed to optimize both animal well-being and productivity. Calves are born, the farm immediately pays attention to ensure their health. Newly born calves receive first aid as needed, safeguarding their fragile health during the early moments of life. These young calves are then tagged with ear numbers, providing a reliable system for tracking their development and ensuring personalized care throughout their growth. One of the standout features of these technologically advanced farms is the focus on fostering natural behavior in the calves. A key component of this is encouraging play, which is vital for both physical development and emotional well-being. To support this, farms lay out straw mats, creating a soft and comfortable environment where calves can play freely. This simple but effective measure allows the calves to interact and move naturally, contributing to stronger bones and healthier muscle development. The freedom to play is essential not just for their physical health, but also for their socialization, helping calves to bond with one another and develop a healthy herd dynamic. Combined with advanced tracking systems and first aid protocols, these practices highlight how modern dairy farming is evolving. Technology ensures efficiency, while thoughtful animal care practices create a nurturing environment, ensuring that every calf can grow up healthy and strong, ready to join the larger herd in the future. The result is a balance between innovation and compassion, leading to sustainable, responsible farming. Here, the dairy herd has revolutionized cow care with the Bomatic, Cow underscore AUP zero SRX OWNW underscore 1080P brush, a state of the art tool that ensures the comfort and well being of dairy cows. This automated brush not only keeps the cows clean, but also massages their skin, improves circulation, and boosts their overall health. When cows bathe in comfort, their stress levels decrease, which in turn boosts milk production. In this dairy farm, surrounded by the golden hues of autumn, the atmosphere is serene and harmonious. The cows move from the milking parlor to the pasture, a wide open space where they can graze freely. The farm takes full advantage of its natural surroundings, with ample pasture land to nourish the animals. This balance between nature and technology is key to its success. The milking parlor itself is a marvel of modern engineering. Monitored by advanced computer systems, the parlor ensures that each cow is milked efficiently and hygienically. Data is gathered in real time to track milk production, health indicators, and the overall welfare of the herd. This precision not only guarantees the quality of the milk, but also allows farmers to swiftly respond to any issues that may arise. In the farm's layout, the separation of lying and feeding areas ensures cleanliness and reduces the risk of disease. The cows have access to mineral-rich licking rocks, an important aspect of their diet that provides essential nutrients to keep them healthy and productive.
The process of transporting and processing older and weaker adult cows is a vital part of maintaining sustainable livestock management. These animals, which have reached the end of their productive life, are carefully transported to the slaughterhouse using tractors and specialized cattle crates designed to ensure safe and humane handling throughout the journey. This method prioritizes the animal's welfare, reducing stress during transport to maintain the quality of the meat and meet regulatory standards. Upon arrival at the cattle slaughterhouse, the cows are processed using advanced technology developed by ATTEC Denmark AS in collaboration with Danish Crown Holsted. This innovative system ensures efficient and precise processing, adhering to the highest standards of hygiene and safety. The slaughtering process is fully automated, with a focus on reducing human error and maintaining the integrity of the meat. One of the key features of this system is its capability for complete bone separation. This allows for the optimal extraction of high-quality meat cuts, minimizing waste and maximizing yield from each animal. Additionally, the slaughterhouse is equipped with a modern packaging line, which ensures that the meat is packed securely and efficiently for distribution. The entire packaging process is integrated with quality control systems, ensuring that all products meet stringent food safety standards before being sent to retailers or further processing facilities. By using this advanced equipment, the slaughterhouse not only enhances operational efficiency but also supports a more sustainable approach to livestock management. The combination of precise technology, humane transport, and rigorous quality control guarantees that the entire process from transport to packaging is executed with care, ensuring that the end products are safe, high quality, and ready for market. Once the cow hide is transferred to the tanning stage, workers begin by carefully scraping off any remaining fat and meat still clinging to the hide. This process requires skill and precision to ensure that all residues are removed without damaging the skin itself. The scraping helps prepare the hide for further treatment by exposing the raw surface, which needs to be clean for the tanning process to be effective. After the scraping is complete, an even layer of salt is sprinkled across the entire surface of the cowhide. The salt serves an important role in preserving the hide by drawing out moisture and preventing bacterial growth, which can cause the skin to rot. This step not only protects the hide during storage, but also helps in the initial preparation before tanning chemicals are applied. The salted cowhide is then left to cure, setting the stage for the next phases in the leather making process. The leather manufacturing process is intricate and consists of several key stages, each crucial in transforming raw hides into high-quality leather. It begins with salted hides, where raw animal skins are preserved through salting to prevent decay before further processing. These hides are then moved into the soaking and liming stage, where they are soaked to clean and rehydrate the skin, followed by liming. Liming serves two functions. It swells the fibers of the hide and removes hair, preparing the hide for the following steps. Once the hair is removed, the hide undergoes flesh removal, where any remaining flesh or tissue is scraped off, leaving a clean surface. This is followed by trimming, where the edges of the hide are cut to remove uneven or unnecessary parts, resulting in a neater and more manageable material. The next step is splitting, which divides the hide into layers. The top layer, known as top grain leather, is the most sought after for its durability and fine texture. After splitting, the hide moves to the tanning phase, where it is treated to stabilize the fibers and prevent decomposition. There are different methods of tanning, the two most common being chrome tanning, which produces what's known as wet blue, and mineral tanning, resulting in wet white leather. Once tanned, the hide is squeezed to remove excess water and then processed to adjust its thickness, which is typically reduced to approximately two-tenths of a millimeter. Control measurements ensure the leather is at the desired thickness before moving to the next stages. 
Quality control is vital throughout the process, ensuring that each piece of leather meets stringent standards. Hanging drying, one of the three drying techniques, is then employed to remove moisture without damaging the leather structure. This is followed by retanning, a process that includes dyeing and fat liquoring to introduce oils and soften the leather. Afterward, any excess water is extracted and the grain of the leather is smooth. The leather is further dried using different methods. Vacuum drying on heated plates accelerates moisture removal, while frame drying helps maintain the shape and size of the hide. Another drying option is passing the leather through a drying tunnel, ensuring it dries evenly. With the drying complete, the leather enters the color matching and mixing phase, where dyes are carefully blended to achieve the desired shades. Coloring and finishing follow, with a protective coat added to enhance durability and aesthetics. For decorative purposes, the leather may go through an embossing machine, where a patterned leather embossing roll presses designs into the surface. To refine the texture further, ironing and pressing produce shinier and smoother leather, enhancing its appeal for luxury products. Next, the leather is staked, a process that softens it by stretching the fibers. Additional softening may occur in a rotating drum, ensuring a pliable finish. As always, quality control remains a top priority, with tests conducted in the laboratory to verify the leather's strength, color, and other attributes. Finally, the leather is measured, categorized, and prepared for shipment. Size measurement and packing ensure that the leather is delivered in the best condition, ready for use in high-end products such as shoes, bags, and furniture. Each stage in this process, from raw hide to finished leather, is carefully managed to produce a material that's both functional and luxurious. The Park Comfort Colony Housing System is a cutting-edge solution designed to improve the living conditions for meat rabbits while streamlining operations for farmers. It offers a practical and efficient approach to rabbit farming, with a range of features that promote both animal welfare and operational efficiency. At the heart of the park comfort system is its slatted flooring and manure belt system, which work in tandem to maintain a clean and healthy environment. The slats allow waste to fall through, while the manure belt efficiently transports both manure and urine out of the housing unit. This immediate separation of solid and liquid waste not only reduces labor, but also creates a more hygienic environment for the rabbits. By minimizing the time that waste remains in the rabbit enclosure, the system significantly improves air quality, helping to reduce ammonia emissions, a common issue in traditional rabbit farming. Lower ammonia levels contribute to better respiratory health for the rabbits and create a more comfortable and productive living space. The Park Comfort System is also designed with ease of use in mind. One of its key features is the winchable slat system, which allows the slats to be raised and lowered with minimal effort. This makes it incredibly simple to access the rabbits for routine tasks like feeding, cleaning, and harvesting. The ability to efficiently manage these tasks saves time and reduces the physical strain on farm workers, which is particularly beneficial for larger operations.
For farmers looking to maximize flexibility, the Park Comfort housing system can be converted into a combi park system. This versatile adaptation allows the housing of both meat rabbits and their nursing does in the same space, offering an integrated solution for breeding and raising rabbits. The ability to house both adults and kits together streamlines the farming process, reducing the need for separate enclosures and further lowering operational costs. Once the rabbits reach full maturity, they are carefully transported to the slaughterhouse for processing. At the facility, they are hooked onto a specialized rabbit skinning system, which ensures a quick and efficient removal of the skin. This automated process minimizes stress on the animals and optimizes the quality of the final product. Following the skinning process, the rabbit meat is moved to a modern production line where it undergoes rigorous cleaning and preparation. Each step of the process is designed to maintain high standards of hygiene and safety. After the meat is expertly processed, it is vacuum packed to preserve its freshness and quality. This packaging method ensures a longer shelf life while sealing in the meat's natural flavors and tenderness. Farm raising thousands of camels. 336 baby canals QR born in a year. Camels eat 10 kilograms of food in a day. And today we've got around 8,000 camels. And this number will increase year by year. So we produce around 4 million of milk every year very high quality products. And as the Camelicious brand, we QR the leading brand now in the market. And the segments tell its very niche. But it's growing, and the people's awareness is increasing. When we use a slur panel for electricity, so that it won't ham the atmosphere. Here at Camelicious, we use both traditions and technology. So we've got a fully automated milking parlor. And after we milk, he where we bring the camels. Without intervention from the humans. So that was a challenge and we achieved that. We do fresh camel milk, milk powder as well, spray dried milk powder, freeze dried milk powder, we do ice cream, and we produce a UHT milk. For Austria, baby foe mula for the Netherlands. Protein bars sold in Spain. At a camel slaughterhouse, the process begins with the careful selection of camels that are old or weak and no longer fit for other purposes. These camels are humanely slaughtered in accordance with strict protocols, ensuring minimal distress to the animal and maintaining high standards of hygiene throughout. Once slaughtered, the skin removal process begins. Skilled workers meticulously separate the skin from the camel's body to ensure the meat remains clean and uncontaminated. This step requires precision and care to preserve the quality of the meat. After the skin has been removed, a handsaw is used to cut the camel carcass in half, making it easier to handle and process in the subsequent steps.
Next, the meat is carefully screened for quality. This involves inspecting the cuts to ensure they meet the necessary standards, selecting only the best portions to move forward. Once screened, the camel meat is cut into smaller, more manageable pieces. Each cut is done with precision to ensure the meat is ready for packaging. Finally, the pieces are placed into trays, where they are carefully prepared for transport. These trays are then sent to supermarkets, where the camel meat will be sold to consumers. Throughout the entire process, hygiene and quality control are maintained, ensuring that the meat is safe and of high quality when it reaches the market.